Hi guys, it's Baldrick here and in today's episode I'll be talking about Battlefield Premium in Hardline and how DICE could really make it beneficial to all the Premium members and the reason I'm doing this is because Battlefield Force Premium has had its ups and downs and they definitely could have made it a lot better. So, I know a lot of players don't even buy premium but those who do and those who want to hit those high levels get as many advantages as they can with their XP premium is the way to go and hopefully they implement this into I guess Battlefield Hardline I know a lot of people expect free DLC but we're never going to get that with Battlefield so the least we can expect is a good premium deal so maybe like $20 for every single DLC that ever releases every single customization option as well so that would be good if they do something like that but from Battlefield 4 I have learnt that they definitely need to lower the prices of their premium and their DLC in general they should make it five dollars for DLC and make it about fifteen to twenty dollars for premium so with about five DLCs it should it you should be getting sort of a deal so you won't be getting the best deal ever but you should you shouldn't have to pay fifty plus dollars to get extra DLC that is a ridiculous amount of money for just DLC and also they should release some DLC for everybody so not just for premium users because a lot of people they just don't want to buy premium because that's enough to buy another game so understand where they're coming from with that but what they need to realize is that if they actually lower the prices people will buy it whereas if they are keeping at the same price range Battlefield 4 has it at that's why I'm showing the gameplay and because Hardlands are not even out yet uh, they will definitely get a lot more sales it's ridiculous that they haven't realized this and it doesn't cost them that much to make the DLC so they, they're definitely racking in a lot of money from their expansions and if they could just settle with a bit less the end result would probably get them more money because more people would buy it and I know it's not going to stop the hardcore battlefielders buying it no matter what price it is but for someone who sort of plays battlefield occasionally it's definitely a more appealing way to do it and obviously with games like Call of Duty that offer season passes same sort of problem it's too expensive it costs more than the game at times and that is definitely true for Battlefield 4 how it went so I don't know I, I bought premium because I like to play the newest maps but it's pretty funny that I mostly play all the default maps I don't know why but I like a lot of the default maps and something that they also need to I guess work around is maybe give the premium members a few more I guess extras compared to the standard player not just give them one gun maybe give them an entire selection of new guns like maybe they might introduce World War 2 assault rifles so you may get five different World War 2 assault rifles in one DLC that would just be awesome I, I know it's not World War 2 but robbers use whatever guns they can get their hands on so I guess that would work out for premium in hardline pretty well. Or maybe a pistol pack where you get 10 pistols from a certain era or, I don't know, special camos. That would be awesome if premium members got that. Whereas right now we're just getting, I'm pretty sure we only get like 3 guns per DLC instead of like massive expansion gun packs that we really should be seeing because they'll definitely encourage a lot of users to buy it as they won't be able to use some of the epic weapons the premium members are getting. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I really would like to hear your opinion in the comments so please leave one for me and I'll definitely get down to reading it. See you later, have a nice day.